we used to joke that it's it's not a nine to five uh, sport, it's a five to nine sport. It starts in the parking lot. You show up and you're like, is it really Saturday morning? Where's all the other cars? And then, then all your teammates start to show up, we're all groggy. Try to give each other high fives, get ourselves hyped up for the workout of the day. From the moment we arrive at the boathouse, we have our tasks that we know we need to complete leading up to launching the boats out on the water. We come in, we get changed. We then get all the boats down, set up the launches for the coaches, get the oars down. We're checking the equipment before we go out. Uh, we're adjusting it because we all share equipment at the club. And then that's when it becomes fun. Then, it, then it's all of a sudden you're focused on today, to be present because now you're on the water, you're with your teammates. Being on the water, somebody told me once, it's like, it's like meditating only it's moving. You're exercising and meditating at the same time. You're thinking about how do I catch better? How do I follow the person in front of me? How do I time better? How, and then before you know it, the workout's done. I think that's why we all do this. You're out on the lake, you're just inches off the water. When you're in sync with your other teammates and the blades go in at the same time at the catch and everybody has the same drive and you feel that boat just push. And you're just, you focus on the back of the head of the person in front of you, but your peripheral vision just spreads out. And so it's all the reflections, the shadows, everything. As you're flying through the water, you value being in the present. I love going out every day. No matter what happens out there, you can expect to see somebody learn something about themselves along the process of being on the water. And that's, for me as a coach, the most gratifying. Being on the water is very, exhilarating. Some days it's like windy and there's huge wakes, but other days it's perfectly flat, like sunny, beautiful, no clouds, and those roads are always the best. Every once in a while somebody in our boat will complain about being wet or something, but we always say it's a water sport. I think this boathouse and the team is like a family, and everyone's kind of like joined together. There's some ups to people and some downs to people. It makes you feel like a home. Our mission at Sammamish Rowing is to provide an inclusive environment, inclusive community that encourages individual development, celebrates team success, and inspires a lifelong passion for rowing. And that mission is felt every time we walk into the boathouse. I was just so struck with how how much of a, a home this place is for people and how much people consider this not just friends but sort of a, a kind of a family. Our coaches are able to just keep this team together, this friendship group and this competitive spirit. They are the heartbeat of this organization, helping us be the best we can be. We all come for something and we end up for one thing. We all come for a better workout, being on the water, being competitive, and we end up being one community. That's what one boathouse means to me. When our rowers, whether they be adults or the juniors, when they see the coaches laughing and having fun and showing their passion for the sport, the more you want to make that happen. So it just kind of builds upon itself. It just kind of keeps getting better and better and better. Everybody kind of walks in these doors with the same passion. There's a tie that binds everyone and it's important to who we are at SRA. I just want to say I'm grateful to be part of it. That's, I think that's my bottom line. <laughs>